All right, the parents of the Oxford school shooter back in court today for a key hearing about potential expert witnesses for the prosecution. Today's hearing also comes just days after their son pleaded guilty to all charges against him. Sean Lay was at today's hearing. He's live at the Oakland County Jail tonight. And Sean, did the judge make a decision here today? Not yet, so the parents went right back here to the Oakland County Jail where their son is being housed after that blockbuster guilty plea on Monday. On the witness stand today, an expert who studied every mass shooting since 1966, Texas Bell Tower shooting. She says shooters do not snap. Her data has found there is a path of violence showing signs of agitation, which each uh, shooter, isolation and abusive behavior. Prosecutors saying the shooter here showed all those signs and the parents should have picked up on it. Let me first show you the packed courtroom. A dozen sheriff's deputies for extra security, family members of the victims, and the shooter's parents in shackles. On the witness stand, Dr. Jillian Peterson, who has made her life's work to study mass shootings, and she says her data shows school shootings can and should be prevented, and no shooter, she says, just snaps. Mass shooters have a slow build towards violence over time. They don't just snap, and they give off lots of warning signs along that path. Pathway. Her research shows shooters leak their plans called leakage and the Oxford school shooter leaked warning sign after warning sign in the months leading up to the tragedy. So this case compared to the other um, K through 12 school shooters that I've studied, this case was remarkable just in the sheer volume of leakage in the month leading up to the shooting, um, including homework assignments, journals, notebooks at home, internet searches during school, and then of course this worksheet the day of the shooting. The prosecution alleges parents James and Jennifer Crumley should have seen those signs and should have taken action and knew he had access to a gun that James Crumley bought for him. Attorneys for the parents argue there is no evidence the parents saw what he wrote in his journal or what he said in text messages. Back here live, this expert is a prosecution expert, a prosecution witness. So the argument here, should she testify, can she testify at this trial? The defense says no. However, the judge says she will rule if she can testify in the parents' trial in one week. We'll let you know what happens. We're live tonight in Pontiac. Sean Lay, Local 4, back yeah, to you. We know you'll be covering it. All right, Sean, thanks.